the preparation for this trip was uh, pretty hectic. Coming to Japan was like, and just like being in a different environment was was quite a bit of a culture shock. We knew we had to be on our A game. We'd never done any international trips before. We'd never even like really headlined a show properly, you know? So many people cared about us enough to have us fly halfway across the world to play a show. I don't know, it's just a crazy thing to, to think about that I'm doing what I love overseas because people want to see us here. They had it all prepared for us. I mean, the, the Japan, like the, the hospitality is just beyond crazy. It, like as stressed as we were, it was as stress-free as it could possibly have been. I'm just really grateful to even have the opportunity to come here and, and do this. to Sony Music. They really know how to like treat their artists. It's just been one of the best things ever, so. Increasingly aware of, of how instrumental they are, helping us to, to establish ourselves over in Japan. And they've been, they've been extremely hospitable. We've been able to like provide a little bit more insight. It's been an eye opener, um, a really humbling eye opener to be able to, you know, to open up. Um, and, and provide insight. We've been doing press nonstop, just interview after interview after interview. Um, we even did a, an instructional guitar DVD. Um, I don't think I've ever done so much press in my life, but anything to be able to come back here and like have more people experiencing like Polyphia. show in Japan was pretty insane. Uh, definitely one of the crazier things I've ever done in my life, ever. We were extremely nervous. Uh, we'd been preparing for this show all summer long. It was really fun to do, but also incredibly nerve-wracking. We can't joke. Like, it has to be sick. It has to be great. Like, you know, there's a lot of people, like, counting on us to be great. That's something that, like, we really, really were pushing for. Definitely super nervous for the show. The, the room filled up pretty quick. You know, the moments leading up to the show, I remember putting my hand out and just like wanting to like see if I could like hold it from shaking. 
just such an overwhelming experience um, having so many people really care about what you're doing. Took a look at like the crowd, like saw how many people that were there, like specifically just to see us. There's a language barrier, but it was cool to be able to see like how music kind of transcends that barrier. things about getting to come here to Japan was getting to meet Lisa X. She's uh, 11 years old and a prodigy over here and uh, she's very popular here and uh, you know kind of a viral like internet sensation. We even got to jam with her on stage a bit. Meeting the fans was really cool too. They were all like extremely stoked and like just seeing like the huge lines just to be able to like take a picture with us was insane. It's a bizarre feeling. It's definitely really, really flattering and humbling to, you know, to have that number of people that excited to, you know, meet you and, and hang out with you. I couldn't even believe how crazy it was to, to know that like, we have fans in a country that we've never even stepped foot in and just to be able to see them like come to the show and know that every single person there is a Bolivia fan, it was uh, pretty, pretty crazy, pretty awesome.